children residing in Kwatape who want to acquire formal education, how to do so under very unfavorable conditions when I first visited the school in 2018. Children had to undertake their academic works on the dusty floor. The school is not the only learning institution in the Tenglento electoral area, but for proximity's sake, it is the preferred choice for many. The community-initiated school at the time had a pavilion, but this could only accommodate classes one to five pupils. Three months after my first visit, the unfortunate happened. Just as their marching song suggests, these pupils have been marching for Mother Ghana with the hope of changing society with education. But the building that accommodates them has been blown down by rainstorm. This happened at a time when school was not in session. No casualty was recorded, but the future of the pupils came crashing and the mango tree became their permanent classroom. After the story went viral on social media, GMPC Foundation moved in. The corporate social responsibility arm of the state institution built a six-unit classroom block and handed over to the school. Executive Director of GMPC Foundation, Dr. Dominic Kwesi Edria, was happy that the organization has touched lives. This is the actual meaning of GMPC Foundation's activities. This is Maybe you should be monitoring us. We are, we are on the road to give out a lot of projects, to monitor our projects, supervise and evaluate what we have, we have been doing since 2017. So, uh, CGMPC as your developmental partner. He said furniture would be procured for use by the school. Dr. Dominic Kwesi Idria commended TV3 for exposing the plight of the school. And I'll say kudos to TV3 for, for that work done. Um, that is what media is meant to be. And we are always on the watch out. Anytime we come across those stories, we do our best to, to intervene. The district chief executive for Pandai, Emmanuel Ata Tatablata, could not hide his excitement allowing TV3 mission into the district. If you don't sell your sickness, you don't get medicine to whatever sickness that you have. So we are very grateful. The Pandai district education director called for intervention for other schools in the district. The pupils are thankful to GMPC Foundation for the gesture, claiming they can now heave a sigh of relief. Thank you, GMPC! Initially, when they were teaching us, and if it's raining, we will go home. That day, they would not teach us. Um, by then, when our seniors write, they are not getting the good grit. I, I think now, like, the way they give us new structure, we come out with flying colors. We thank the government for what he has it for us. May God bless him. In Kwatape, the promotion of quality education and lifelong learning for all, enshrined in Go 4 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, can be achieved by 2030 if stakeholders prioritize their roles in complementing GMPC Foundation's gesture. Stanley Nibler. TV3 News, Kwatape, Bandai.